Today I'm going to show you my chuck box. Why do I need a chuck box? Well, I'll tell you why. So I cook outside a lot. Um, anytime I can cook outside, I prefer to cook outside. So um, this is my, my truck camper. And if you notice, to get into my truck camper, I have a step. I don't I always need to use the that step, but step, 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 and then I have three more steps inside to get in there. So if I forget something, I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it gets old really fast. So um, that's why I created this chuck box, and I wanted a chuck box that was very small and had most utensils in it. It doesn't have any pots and pans or anything like that. Um, that I bring outside, but then the rest I have spices and utensils and uh, measuring cups or measuring spoons and things like that. So let's get to it. Let me show you my my version of a tiny chuck box. Okay, I created my chuck box out of a craftsman's uh, just a utility box or toolbox or whatever you want to call it but you can find these at any of your um, home improvement stores and they don't have to be craftsmen obviously but this is the one I found that um, it seemed like it would fit my needs and so far it has. My chuck box usually sits outside so it's kind of dusty and does have a crack um, but I do most of the time leave it outside and hadn't had any issues with leaking. So when you open it up, I usually have two cutting boards. I've been using it, so there may be some things that are inside that just got washed. But So I have one cutting board. And like I said, I like things tiny, or not tiny, tiny, but little. So um, they all fit in here. So I cook with the cast iron, so I always have a handle. It usually goes right there. And I have a digital thermometer and some tongs. I think I have a couple of pair of tongs in here. Tongs. Oops. And a slotted spoon. See, they're, sh they're small spoons. Here's another regular spoon. I have a can opener and a uh, spatula or I don't know what do you call these. I have two of them and a little black rubber spoon and a cheese grater or a potato grater. And when I make cobblers, this is a butter slicer. You just slice it really, really easy. And I use uh, either a barbecue brush or olive oil brush. And I keep this little jar in here that I can put barbecue sauce in or olive oil or any kind of sauce that I want to use a brush with. So I have another spatula. Carrie gave me this last year when we were in the Pacific Northwest and I've been using it and I love it and a long spoon this is if I'm gonna cook a um, like a mountain house meal or something I can get deep in those pouches and then some skewers so anytime I want to make some shish kebabs I always have these skewers in here too I have several knives. I love this little meat cleaver and I keep a um, sharpening knife sharpener in here also. But I love this little meat cleaver. I've used it a lot. It sits over here by itself so it's safe. And then I have a Kershaw. This is one I used to carry but the clip um, broke off. So I just put it in here. So I have a I uh, got a new cooking knife. I hadn't even put it in here yet. And then another knife. And this one was sent to me by Felicia. 
and I've been using this one to cook. I like it to cook with also is a spoon and measuring spoons. And they usually fit together, but they don't stay together very well, so. And another can opener and a baggie. A lighter, and I always, always have one of those long lighters, but it's over there with my stove right now, so I don't have that. Got some beef bouillon and some chicken bouillon. I still have lots of room uh, to add. Uh, I haven't, let's take this out. I have an empty bottle. I'm thinking about putting soap in that. And some in case I don't have a lighter, some waterproof matches. Okay, I adjusted the camera a little bit so you can see the rest of the contents. We went over this with the knife and everything. I put that all back. Um, also over here, I'm gonna move the box so you can see it. Over here I have little mixers. And oh, there's a big mixer there. There's my knife that goes in. I have always have that knife spoon fork set. And these go, these are lids to propane bottles. I always put them in here so I know where they are. Probably don't need this many mixers, but it came as a set, so it stayed as a set. And this, this is gonna get redone some because I, this was gonna be my spice area, but this has become my spice area and I love this. So this was gonna get transformed because right now, this is a big jar of pepper, which I love a lot of pepper, but I don't want this big jar in here anymore. So it's gonna end up going away and I have a big shaker of cumin and I don't need that much cumin all the time, so this is gonna go away. So I'm gonna utilize this space, um, and I might have to come back and do an update video of the completed, completed check box. But this is olive oil, and you wanna get these Nalgene bottles if you do this, because this does not leak. And hand sanitizer, and toothpicks, and this is chili powder I think yeah and since since I've redone this spice I probably don't need this either so this is all gonna get redone and now for the spices let's scoot that over just a little bit so I wanted something small and so I found these in at Walmart and they're little you find them in the craft section uh, they're just small little bottles and I love them because I have all my spices that I normally use right here um, there's not a lot yeah they have to get refilled quite often but that's okay um, I, this is a tick tock tick tock <laughs> we've been we've been brainwashed um, this is a tic tac container and I just put sugar in it and you could do all your spices this way if you wanted to but i and i was gonna do it like this but when i found these little bottles i changed my mind i just used the initial of the spices and um but i did put on the side of the bottles what it was so o is for onions garlic powder pepper and i need to refill that that's what i, I was gonna do when i decided to make this video um, there's some cumin and some garlic salt and some salt and some chili powder and some Italian seasoning. And this one is just a little salt and pepper shaker. I bought this. I'm not real happy with this. Um, if you want to carry this with you in a backpack, it would be okay, but I can't ever shake out enough pepper, so I always have to take the lid off of it and use it that way. But it can stay in here for now. Uh, my little spatula is not in here. I used it this morning, so it is. But it goes right here. 
have a little spatula too. It's about this long. <laughs> it, it's a little bitty too. This is my checkbox at this point in time. And I would love to hear what I need in here or what you think I need in here or what any suggestions of making it better.